Fall Molly. Molly! Something keeps wanting to talk here in the house. That was goofy. Dead? Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. And to be quite frank, today's video is pretty f crazy. I am recording this intro after my session with the medium and psychic that's coming in today. And oh my god, tears were shed goosebumps were had and I need you to get some popcorn right now. Today I have the honor of working with Patty Negri who is voted the number one medium, psychic, and tarot card reading also known as the Good Witch of Hollywood. She's been featured on Ghost Adventures, Bad Girls Club, Flipping Out, and most recently my girl Lily's Late Night with Lily Singh. She's a podcast host, a best-selling author, and is here today to help me connect with the spirit world. Uh, okay, so uh, we're on the video. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Okay, so Patty literally walked in and said that we have a portal mirror in this room. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it isn't bad. It isn't bad. Okay, so I think the first question that viewers have is, what is a medium? A medium is someone who can actually talk to the other side, the other side of the veil, getting into the elemental realm, the spirit guide realm and things. I've been doing seances literally since I was seven or eight years old. So I've literally spent my whole life studying it. Belief systems, cosmologies, religion, okay. science, occult science, metaphysics. When I do my seances, you'll see ghosts, ghosts for people. Right. Usually they cross over, Again, you know, ghosts that you find in your normal house, they're happy ghosts. They hang out because they like to. Age three and four was the very beginning. I, yeah, as long as I could talk and walk and have hopeful conversations, they were there. Wow. I think about what I was thinking about at three years old and it was like, blah, blah, goo, goo, gaga. and you're over here like, hi, in the corner there, hello. Like, what does a normal day look like for you? Not understanding and being so far apart from this, I'm like, is it a switch that you turn on and off or is it something that's just always happening? No, I definitely have an on off switch because I don't want to go to the grocery store and, and I, like, your mother wants to talk, I don't want to be bumped. Right. Right. But yeah, I just want to get some groceries. Right. So I, I literally, when I was little, kept on switch, off switch. And now I've even wow. developed a nice dimmer switch. Oh, so that's nice. Like, vibe check. Let's do a vibe check. Okay, the vibes in the house are really good. They are, you're really clean. You have really nice, clean energy. Besides, it, it's a clean looking house. The energy re reflects that. Okay. This feels pretty active, this particular mirror. That's not bad. <laughs> So what I'm thinking about is like I think about all the times I've taken like a really stupid mirror selfie uh -huh. And so is someone looking back at me as that's happening? Maybe. Not all the time. I think we just dive in and talk to some people. Okay, let's talk to some people. Then let's set up some more. We could have a few things going to get us started. Okay. 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 Let's talk right. to some people. Let's talk to some people. Oh my god. Okay. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna use a little herbs and oils and things okay. to kind of safely lift the veil. Also, if you would like, you don't have to, I have this little oil that I make, both an enhancer oil to get open up all your senses and a protection oil. So okay. you could put it anywhere you want, but the place you always put protection oil is right the back of your head. Oh, and, oh protect me, protect okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing. We are not in an insane asylum. We are not in a crazy place. There is no negative, and I wouldn't let any in anyway. Okay, anyway, so we're so safe with Patty. Thank God. We are safe. Protector Patty. If you see anything, again, it's pretty bright in here, but if you see it, you'll always see it with your peripheral vision, not your straight vision. And what am I looking for? Light, orbs, shadows, things like that. Okay. You know, goosebumps, always a confirmation. Mm -hmm. Getting warm or getting cold, things like that. What do we say about sweaty palms? Sweaty palms are beautiful. <laughs> Light and dark are turning, luck be in the burning. Light and dark are turning, luck be in the burning. Black spirits and white, red spirits and gray, mingle, mingle, mingle who may. Fout it out, out, around and about. A world within and a world without. The good come in and the ill stay out. With the ringing of this bell, we lift the veil. Twixt heaven and hell, we invite in all the spirits now to join us in this sacred vow. You have somebody, the first off you do, before you even ask for anybody, it's beautiful. No, 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 it's beautiful. They're standing by a tree, it's definitely male, and they're doing something with their hands. Did you have someone in your life that did something with their hands? Mm, not like right off the top of my head. Okay, that's okay. It'll hit you in three days. Yeah. I, 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 that's what it always right, says. I'll like, like, oh, like, oh, 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 I remember. Like, they're not particularly young. They're, uh, they're showing themselves probably in 
their 50s or 60s. They might have passed older, Okay. but they liked that age better. My grandpa worked at General Motors, and so that would be a hand thing yeah, for this, sure. All right, these cross on yes and not on no. I cannot control them. They've been used forever. Contractors find them to find water lines, and you find water in the desert. I could take them around the house and point to portals and port to spirits. Where is the portal uh, that's near here? I took goosebumps. Is this man that I'm seeing in front of a tree, Grandpa Paul? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it is. Where are you, Paul? Yeah. That's cool. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, that's like that. <laughs> there was um, a big tree in his backyard that like had like this little swing on it, and like I was raised there. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's what he's showing me. It's, I guess got goosebumps too. See, yeah. and that's always a confirmation. <laughs> so um, now ask a yes/no question. Gosh, now that I have this opportunity, like I'm waiting a whole life for this opportunity, I can't think of anything. Also, these are so crazy that it's moving. Like, guys, you I feel just, it, huh? I just want to tell you, like, how much I am not moving anything aside from like the shakes of talking to spirits. Are you able to watch what my career has been? You're doing really good. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is. see that? Whoa, that's so wild. I like don't know what to ask without bursting into tears. <laughs> he is totally like one of your guardian angels, I have to tell you. He... Wow, yeah, wow, he is. wow. I'm your guardian Whoa. angel. <laughs> this is my little funny talking box. Okay. But it, it, it has some words in it, and but it says words that it hasn't been programmed like all of those ghost boxy things. So, okay, we want Paul to speak through there. Paul. Holy. Paul, do you get lonely sometimes? Lonely. Oh, oh my god. god. Is Jean there with you? Me. Me. Oh. Wow. Say something that Lauren would know and understand. That was goofy. Is Lauren's friend who passed of a tragic accident are you are you here with us? Happy. Happy. Yeah. Okay. I just got goosebumps on that too. <laughs> Where are you? Over there. Alcohol. Alcohol. The friend that passed from a tragic accident. Um, that is highly relevant to um, the last few years of their life. He keeps a really high up energy. Mm -hmm. this, the other one that's here, the new one. Your, your grandfather has a low, solid energy. Mm -hmm. He, again, he's going like this. Linda. Oh my God, that's his mom's name. Yeah. They had a very back and forth relationship. He had a lot of uh, resentment towards his mom, Linda. No more hate. No more hate. In my experience, not that you become an angel all of a sudden, but you do get a slightly higher perspective. Mm -hmm. And he's also doing, I get a lot of hand movement, something with thumbs. Does thumbs mean something to you for him? I think I'd think it was rolling a blunt. Like that could be. <laughs> Accident. Oh my God. He's with you a lot. Yeah, you have a nice little entourage. <laughs> You're a nice conduit, by the way. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's thank good. you so much. That's It's good. She's keeping back a little bit. She could be like a grandma kind of person. Mm -hmm. She's she's kind of like this and she's in a chair. She keeps a little bit of distance, but she's here. She's good. Is that Jean? Yeah. There was a chair that she spent a lot of time in yeah. in uh, my grandpa's living room. Yeah. Is that you in that chair right now? Yeah. She is kind of rubbing her legs like this. I don't know if she had problems with her legs or her knees or something. <laughs> oh my god, like the, the sounds that you can't identify are almost scarier yeah, than yeah, like they almost oh scary the ones that you can. She had um, circulation issues. Circulation issues, like, so that's why she's rubbing her legs. Monster. 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 I'm hearing monster is is a dog. Is the monster a dog? Dog. Oh my god. I don't know if I know a dog named Monster unless it was someone that they had. It could have been yeah, decades that it was and decades, not in and my decades ago. Time. Frogs or crickets or something. Are we speaking to Sebastian? Is this Sebastian? Yes. Peace. Peace. 
Is that you saying peace? Yeah. Are you with your dad? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a big yes. That's a big that's yes. That's a big yes. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you good? Yes. Another big yes. Big yes. Somebody else you want to ask or talk to? <laughs> I think that's everyone like okay. on my list. <laughs> okay. And we close the veil between the worlds. Your grandpa's very cool, one thing. And, and <laughs> Sebastian's good. Your grandma, she was way back there. Yeah, she was my first grandparent. Yeah. She who passed when I was like yeah. pretty young. By the mom's name of my friend, that was wild. <laughs> Do you feel it feels slightly different in here? I mean, I think my whole body feels yeah. differently. Yeah. So before we move into like anything psychic related, what's the difference between a medium and a psychic? A psychic is someone who sees future paths. I say possible or probable future paths because mm -hmm. I think any psychic who says, when you walk out of this house, a bird's gonna poop on your head. I know it's gonna happen because <laughs> I'm such a good psychic. I know when you're gonna walk out of the house. We were given free will. Mm -hmm. So I could say, be careful, a bird might poop on your head and then don't walk out that door and it doesn't. Sadly, for every one good and legitimate, and there's many, many, there's 10 times as many illegitimate ones, fake ones, who just want your money. Trust your intuition, we all have it. Whether you, When something feels off, it probably is. If they start to try to do any kind of an upsell, if they tell you you have a demon attached, if they tell you you have a family curse, anything that's control-based or fear-based, just run, just run. I think any really good psychic will say, this is the path. This is why you always pick the wrong kind of boyfriend or girlfriend. This is why you have this issue. Then let's change it. Remember, we have free will. Even if they say something you don't like, you can change it. You can shift it. Don't give away your power, not even to a psychic, not to medium, not to anybody. So a medium is somebody who talks to the other side, like we did, like talk to grandma, talk to your spirit guides and things. Not every psychic is a medium. A lot of are though. When you have the gift, this is your third eye, when you're opening that intuition, when you're opening the veil to the other side, you start seeing those future possibilities. And honestly, anybody can learn it. And the witchy side of me. The witchy side? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> All that is, and again, whether you use that term or not, you are willing to take that natural trajectory and change it and shift it. I only work in the light. I only work positive magic because the work that you do, you have to live in that world. Right. There's fate and there's destiny and then that free will to change it. You've done a lot with free will. Mm -hmm. So when I go into a psychic reading mm -hmm. or tarot cards that I've done in the past, I've always taken it as like, this is what they're seeing right now. And the moment that I walk out of that room, every decision that I make yes. could alter that path. Completely, completely. Okay. It's been a solid, I wanna say, two and a half, three years since I've had a tarot card reading. Wow. I feel like nothing notable crazy happened for my last one, like no crazy connections, but I'm super excited to go again today. Okay, well, let's see. Oh my gosh, whenever you pause, I'm like, there's someone here, <laughs> there's a spirit entering the mirror right now. <laughs> you have a beautiful active mirror. This is the one for my mom. She's like, when am I getting grandchildren? Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. It's like we're speaking a different language and you get to, like, you have to translate it to me. So yeah. you have the reaction first and I'm like, I what does that mean? <laughs> You're going to do really good in motherhood. I can tell you that. Stable home life, creativity. There's that mothering, the you stepping into it. When you do it, it's because you're chosen to do it. This is now it is time to do this. It's love. It's all this creativity. This is the best card in the deck. That's usually called the world deck. It's the universe. Wow. A baby won't mess up anything. Great. Any fears of that it will. That's where all that little chatter kind of went in. But you let it go and you see it doesn't mess up anything. As soon as you're ready, this is ready because this is all in the base, all these nice little right. baby colors. Oh God. Oh my God. He's hanging upside down. <laughs> that, what that just means though is there's something you need to let go of. And it came over this again, that, that fear like motherhood will hold you, hold you down or something like that I'm feeling but it, it doesn't and it won't. I've always been someone who's like, I'm gonna have kids later. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel just like so far away from being ready to have kids, even though I'm gonna be 28 this year. And like, that's a very normal age for people to have kids. I feel like I, that's so far off in my future. So let go of even that, that, that you think that's weird. Mm -hmm. Everything in its perfect time. And now people have babies decades older yeah, than you. Right. It's just a whole different time. Mm -hmm. If you so choose, I see you having both boy and girl. And I, but I definitely see a boy out there. My boyfriend will be so happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I guess it is. There's some, it's, something keeps wanting to talk here in the house. It's like a spirit of the house. It's, it's here in the house. It's good, it's, it's good, it's good. He lives here. <laughs> so they chose me. Yeah. 
I can't tell if I'm flattered or like... No, be flattered, be flattered, be flattered. It's a good thing. There's something that keeps like almost hitting me on the head saying, I want to talk, I want to be here. It doesn't feel like it's, it's a human spirit. It's much more ethereal than that. It's very ethereal. And do you ever hear anything on your staircase? I don't think okay, good. so. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Dead? Are you a good spirit? Yes. Oh, I feel thank really God. good. God. Oh, God. Demon. Demon? It wasn't demon. It was. I didn't hear it. Did you say demon? So, Spirit, are you lonely? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. I miss pizza. Shut up right now. <laughs> I miss pizza. <laughs> Who doesn't? Have you ever heard that one before? No. <laughs> Do you have something to say? Do you want something to say to Lauren? Yes. Is it a good thing? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can hear you. It's almost like one of those. It's not a unicorn, but it's it's like that. It's almost like like some kind of magical creature. Yes, type a vein. mythical creature. I don't want to sound scary because it absolutely isn't scary. But when you see that head of one thing in the body, oh like right, a like a um, the, like the old Spice Man. Yeah. What what is he again? Yeah, whatever he is. A centaur. A centaur. A centaur. It's, yeah. It's very much like that. Huh. But it's really. Steve. 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 Is your name Steve? Is your name Steve? <laughs> well, Patty, thank you so much for coming over today. Uh, this was truly incredible. I have so many emotions. We learned so much. Where can people find you? People can find me everywhere. No, my website is pattynegri.com, P A T T I N E G R I.com, but I'm on. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the regular places. I have a YouTube channel where I teach lots of stuff if Ooh, anybody wants to. Oh, she's a so YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, <laughs> not like you. I'm just a little one. Thank you so much, Patty. I'll make sure to leave all the links um, to where you can find Patty's social media platforms and website in the description box below. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks.